Hey you, welcome back to the channel and today I have an anime review which, oh, it did trick me when I saw this on TikTok. Yes, sometimes I get recommended anime on TikTok, but if you like this sort of content and you want to see more, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, as well as that cheeky notification bell to be notified when more videos drop. And this anime is ridiculously weird as, as well as unexpecting. Let's just say that if you love an a magical anime girl animes and you like a different turn, then you will like this. But let's jump straight into the review. So if you don't know what a magical girl is, it's a anime character, mainly female, that will transform into a super powered version of themselves or they will look different, etc, etc. And they go and solve crime. Normally they have a team of like people with them or they will do it solo. Think about like Sailor Moon. That's the, the best way that I could describe this. I saw this when I was scrolling on TikTok and what I thought was, oh, a guy actually gets the power to transform into a magical girl and it's his way of going through and no one knows and it's a secret identity type thing. And I was like, okay, I will give this a go. Oh, oh boy, was I wrong. <laughs> I'm not saying it's bad anime, it, it completely took me by surprise. This anime starts off quite light, but then goes dark really, really quickly. Out of all animes, we know that you have a protagonist who is all the way through, like 100%, they're all the way through on this one. And yeah, the main character was sidelined pretty much all the time. At the first like episode or two, you have this one character that does stuff that kind of starts her magical girl journey but then is completely sidelined for the rest of the anime and i was ridiculously confused but i found it like a breath of fresh air because we always have the main character that will always do stuff but we have the background characters being sidelined all the time and it's this time it was reversed and i really enjoyed that kind of aspect and I would love to see more anime kind of do this all the way through. I hope I get her name right. Her name is Koyuki and her magical girl name is Snow White. And I'll refer to her as that for the rest of this review. Snow White is a normal girl who loves magical girls and wants to be a magical girl. And it's one of those things where I really need to be a magical girl all the time. I would do anything. And then she is given a chance to become one via this social media app, uh, which is like a game, which we all, all do. And you know, you get a certain level and then suddenly the mascot, or which is called the administration, I hope it is because I couldn't find the name for it. They become like, they come alive and they say, oh, hey, do you want to be a magical girl? And you can, and she becomes, and Snow White becomes one. And it starts her journey for helping and stuff. And she meets all these other characters who I'm going to talk about in a bit. And they're absolutely fine. But the main thing is, after a while, it kind of shifts onto the other people them fighting and stuff and oh it, it gets worse when it came to the other characters it would then shift focus back to oh quick we need to check on snow white and then it kind of like for five seconds and you're like oh, okay she's done and then it goes on to these other people so you find out there is i think almost 16 magical girls in here and it gets to the point where the administration wants to test them and it, it rather than doing the whole thing of like battling and uh, the, these monsters it kind of does that in a little bit but it's more kind of hey we need to cut these the, the, uh, these people down so um, uh, if you don't get these magical candies then your character and you will have to go you know you'll forget about being a magical girl and you can live your life and you kind of think okay fair dues i i kind of really like that that's a thing where this becomes a test and it's like you know you get candies by helping people doing good deeds and i'm like that's actually a really really good thing to do fine i i like that but then it get it turned and it then rather than saving other people to get candies an option is given to everyone that in an update that you can take candies from other people you can donate candies if you want and this sets a trend for everyone to kind of go after certain people and it's mainly ruler and her gang to go after certain people to steal their candies so that they will never lose their power um, and I, I generally kind of thought okay so this is going to be a thing where it's going to be sneaky it's going to be funny but then it ends in kind of like hey we've got to kind of kill you so that you can never have this and you will be left out in the garbage and I was like oh I didn't expect that I will say this about Snow White kind of jumping back to her 
I feel like she becomes like a Gohan character where she starts whining at every single moment. When something happens, she's like, I don't want to do this. No, no, boo hoo. And it generally makes me kind of think, why would you bring a character like this if you're not going to utilize her properly? So for me, I generally wasn't a big fan of this and it generally kind of made me not want to kind of watch that character. I'd rather focus on other characters that actually seem to know what they're doing, seem what they're doing. But when you just constantly hear, oh, but you know, that's not what a magical girl does. You know, we've got to be the magical girl that everybody wants. Why? And then it's just, what the fuck? Seriously, it just, it, oh, it infuriates me. And I hate these sorts of characters. Normally they come along at the very beginning and they're like, oh, I don't know what to do. And then they get stronger. But you don't see this in Snow White until very end at the last episode where I'm just like, what, what, why is she even in this? Why is she even part of this? Why can't we have other characters? And I think that's what kind of got me. So as I said, the kind of main plot is that you have these characters that all become magical girls. The administration turns around and says, we don't need this. Like, you know, we need to cut this down. And it happens all the time. Suddenly, just after that, um, each girl t starts turning. You have some kind of like, they some team up, some don't, some go alone, some turn up, some don't. And it kind of goes on like that until they reach the level. And it's like, oh, now we've got to reduce it from 16 to eight, eight to four. And then you know what was gonna happen. Oh, there's too many magical girls. Now we have to draw, draw it down to one and so on and so on. And that's the main kind of process of this anime. It kind of, you see a lot more backstory of each character, which it's some of them are okay and some of them are quite dark. And that's okay. If you're into dark animes and this, this is perfect for you. When you see the first like magical girl, like not get the candies, uh, they say like, oh yeah, you're gonna fade away. You know, you'll go back to it. And you know, the girl, I can't remember her name, but she turns around and says like, oh, I'm gonna watch you from the background. She then does one last mission to kind of help someone, which we, again, we see later on in this. And then she dies and you're like, oh, you know, what's up? So she dies in a very horrible way, or it's a ba basic way. And it's when her mum kind of walks in and says like, oh, come on, you've got an interview tomorrow. You've got to do this, you've got to do that. And then just the mum just seeing her and going, oh my God, what the fuck? And then you see it in the news and no one kind of picks it up until later on where you have, they hear this like sort of conversation. So then you find out that if they lose their magical powers, then they will die. Like their bodies cannot take it because apparently like being a magical girl um, puts a strain on the body, but they don't know about it. Hence like speed, strength, um, super speed or whatever. And I generally kind of thought, oh, okay, bit, bit weird, but okay, I can kind of agree on that one and see why. You know, but why wasn't this told at the very beginning? I didn't kind of feel much for this anime. I thought at the very beginning it was just going to be uh, magical gets a power, she saves people, some little fights and stuff like that kicking in, but it then changes and I'm just like, oh, okay, right, okay. One of my favorite characters in this, and I, I wish that she um, carried on a bit more. Um, if I've written a name right, it is Le Pushi. I, I, again, I got a name completely wrong. Um, but this is a, a guy that has been with Snow White since kind of near the beginning. You know, he has a love for magical girls and then, you know, none of his friends like it and they kind of rip into him. And then he becomes a magical girl. And that's the thing that I saw on TikTok. I was like, oh, so it's all about him. So his kind of demise later on, I thought wasn't justified. And I, I thought I would rather see him stay all the way to the end because, you know, he makes this sort of promise, like, you know, he's gonna be her sword, the protector. And I, I generally really like that, but him being kind of cut off later on, I was like, oh, that's not good. Another one of my favorite characters was Top Speed. She was the, the mum of the, the group, effectively. She was the type of person that would look after people. And her death really did get to me in this because it wasn't something small. It was the fact that, you know, she says like, oh, as long as I stay alive for six uh, six months, I'll be fine. And this is a thing that you kind of all, like you hear all the way through. And I instantly thought, you're pregnant. That's, that's the reason why. So I was very kind of like taken back on this all the time. I was like, what the hell? She was a really good character. She was loving. And even after she dies, like she sticks about in a ghost form for a uh, thing, but she's part of one of the other characters' memories. 
and she just literally says like you know i'm always going to be here i can't nag you now because you know i'm gone you know i feel really sorry that my husband won't know about this and i generally thought that was just sticking the knife in but it drove this character to um, i can't remember her name but it drives her to kind of really go for it to kind of like push forward like the others wouldn't and that's what i think i liked ruler and a team in this really really got to me like I did not like any of them. There was one character that I did like, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Ruler and her team, I really didn't like. The only person in the team that I liked was Tama, and we'll talk about her very briefly in a bit. I just generally didn't like Ruler and her team. I felt like it was the sort of character that I would absolutely hate and I would want to take out first of all. Like, I, if you know, it's like, oh, you're steal candies or you gotta kill them. I'd be going after her straight away. I think it's more about her character that I didn't like. It's her personality. It was very much, I'm going to kind of put everybody down in my team. It's like, she didn't really give much. It was more, I'm now gonna take you down or, you know, I feel like you're imbeciles because you don't do the, the stuff that I do. And I hated that entire whole, like that concept of her. It just felt like it was, annoying and just wasn't called for now two other characters who didn't step up until much later on was uh, Manel and Yunal I think I got those right um, they annoyed me but when they did step up it was actually oh okay like your your character has completely changed because now you've got a different goal and it's not like you guys like stick about but the way that they died I will remember those faces because it's they're not happy faces like it's just the way that they both died later on i generally thought oh i i didn't like that at all but it was a main thing that went on now tama is one character i really liked i felt like her her death was just not justified whatsoever and swim swim just went crazy i just don't like it at all now she's the sort of character that she has like people have bagged on her for the entire life told her that she's not smart she's not great you know she's worthless and that's kind of stuck through and you see it all the way through the anime now i kind of really wanted her to kind of hit that level where she becomes a lot stronger in herself and that she decides to kind of like go further but it's she's not she doesn't she does one good thing which i did not expect which i'm not going to spoil for you um you'll have to watch the anime to see it because she does one thing that i didn't expect that she could do and i was genuinely shocked when her demise comes along i found it really sad because she kind of asks one question it's why why did you do this and you see her backstory and it's the same sort of thing of like, you know, she can't do anything right or, you know, she's not got the smarts, she's not got whatever. And it's like other people around her, like in a family, will big up them rather than her. And I felt really kind of sad. The only person that rooted for her was a grandmother. And I was like, oh, that's that's so sweet. Um, but the rest of the family just didn't give a shit. And I didn't like that at all. Swim Swim to me was a character that didn't have emotion and she followed Ruler's examples and what she said to the letter. This wasn't something that I kind of liked because it just felt like she was a Ruler clone, but she was kind of smart around some areas. It just felt like she was just the clone. I, I, I kind of didn't like that. She wasn't as mean um, at times, but I just generally kind of thought why are you following the, the ways of someone that died or wasn't very smart and she was part of it where she was the, the a part of the demise of ruler and I, I just generally thought she was a bit weird in her scenes and you, you kind of think yeah she's built up to be the bad guy and what happens to her you kind of figure, feel like oh great you've now done it. I think it's just the way that Swim Swim decides to go after every single person and then kind of did it well, which is great, but I just generally wasn't a big fan of that character. And one thing I did like in this is I liked the link to all the characters. Like there is a link some way to all of them and they all meet. I li really like that. I love it when animes do this because it feels like they're paying attention. So seeing all of this it was absolutely perfect. Now, one thing that did freak me out a little bit in this was there's an ability to buy items later on because they've got to kind of take out every single person etc etc and it's the ability to buy certain items but rather than using in-game currency or money real in real life they had to pay with years off their life and that to me was oh oh no 
but you could buy set items and give them. You see, like, uh, I think it's Hardcore Alice or something. She buys, like, a, a rabbit's foot and she gives it to uh, Snow White, which really makes things like, work well. But to be able to buy stuff with your life, I really didn't like that, and it did kind of freak me the hell out at times. And I was just like, nope, nope, nope would never do that. Each character in this had an interesting background, some tragic, some normal. And I didn't find any of them boring or annoying, which is normally quite rare because I don't always like seeing backstory of every single character. I want to see the progression. If it comes up, it comes up, but sometimes it's kind of forced. I think what kind of really would got me is like, as soon as the, the magical girl got ended and you know, it's just finding their bodies. That that would freak me out quite a bit. The worst, uh, the worst one that I think is top speed because obviously she's pregnant, she's been defeated, and you know, it was one of those things where her ending was, I think, not justified whatsoever. And the fact is that her husband had to find her, and you see this in the kind of like the in the mind of this other character where she's like oh you know thank you very much for taking me back to my husband it must be really weird for him to see this um but you know it is what it is and i'm like holy crap that's fucking dark wow can you imagine opening the door and then seeing your your wife just be dead i would be like holy crap that would scar me on so many levels and knowing that your child is there too and i'd be like Oh wow, that's that. There's, it's just thinking about it, it makes me sad inside. You know, even hardcore uh, or hardcore Alice, like her ending wasn't justified. I wanted her to stay alive to the end as well, but again, no, it just doesn't. Like, it just it just gets to me. Um, to me, the anime was interesting. Like, it was fun and interesting, and it had me wanting to watch every episode. I watched this within a day, and I just binge watched it because. I don't think I could have waited a while to watch like the next anime, the next anime, the next anime. I had to finish it all. Like that's all I had. And you know, the twist of it as well got me because no, and I've not seen anything like that happen, which again was new. I would kind of, as I said, I would kind of like to see this sort of twist happen in anime a bit more because I feel like this has never been kind of explored. So, you know, it's, it's brutal. It's, it is a gory, brutal anime, which I highly recommend watching if you're of age you know, just definitely worth kind of like picking up and, uh, and checking it out. Now I'm gonna link everything down below in the uh, in the description so you can like pick this up because I do generally think that this is an anime worth watching if you're of age, that is, that's if you're of age because this is something definitely on a whole new level. But I wanna kind of know is, have you seen this anime? What did you think about this? Did you like it? Did you not? Uh, what are your thoughts on this? Let me know down below in the comments and if you like this sort of content and you want to see more Hit the like button hit the subscribe button as well as that cheeky notification bell to be notified when more videos drop Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video Subscribe